YouTube video. Today we are going to be playing Madden 18. We're going to be playing the challenges day one. There's two of them. We're playing the first one with the Lions. So the challenge is win the game, rush for 184 yards. We're going to do both of them because we want coins. That's the main part to get the characters. But right now, looks like you still keep your team overall rating. But game's pretty cool. This challenge is on pro. The challenges are preset on the difficulty. Oh, we're definitely going to rush here. I'm going to change the play. Flip sides here. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Trucking them. All right, that, that's a nice yardage right there. That's nice. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. He's a relentless a lot with guys, guys we are also live on Twitch right now. It really fits, doesn't it? The viewers who are watching, down, this will be uploaded down. on Twitch. Back to throw now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Come on, get my block. Get my block. Ah, he blocked me. My own wide receiver blocked me. I was going to try to get a sneak run there. And him running the football is not something that defense is yeah, back with the wrong play. That's for. Okay. But this guy has a survival like, instinct right here. and a knack sure. for knowing when exactly to do it. On like second down, they'll try and run the counter. Finds a seam inside the Oh, 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 we're open. We're open. Touchdown. Detroit. A great play there. 53 yards. And the Lions are going to take him bacon. You talk about explosion plays. There's one pretty much right out of the gate. And now they get to ride a wave of emotion, momentum, everything. Just as you just as you described, right out of the gate. Big sprint, touchdown. They're excited. But on the other side, they've got to guard against a major letdown because right, they had a right good again. My one. kicker is not that good. I ha still have the very first kicker you get on the ultimate the team. So that our next goal is to be on ultimate team. Is to get the best kicker in the game. I think he's a 90 overall. Between the 90 and 89 overall. I'm pretty sure there's a I'm pretty sure there's one better than 88. And we are facing the computer right now. My favorite thing about this Madden game, you can change the camera angle. So, you can be the player. The only thing you have to do is press up on the D-pad. That's it. Look at this. This is the best camera angle we have ever had in Madden. Now, you cannot do this on kick returns, which is not that cool. Our field goals. We're going to even get this user pick. Oh, that was close. We blocked it. That's good. They're not going to score. I'm going to go man here. We should be passing it on third, third and two. So, if not, I'm going to play left in. Yeah, he's not, so. The only thing bad is if you're playing that and you're not playing as one of the front line people. It's going to start getting hard to see. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots. And there we go. We got him. The first down. And a short gain there down to the 37 yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. There nice thing is the clock is seven. winding down, so. I'm pretty sure I can get a touchdown almost every drive, so that's what we're shooting for. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? 
accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength, that's great. Mobility, great, but you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got to face a big third down. Open man is still... Wow, he had an open man. That's nice, that's nice. Nobody was covering him. All right, we're going to play man coverage. So and hopefully we can stop him. Throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing. All right, second quarter. Their speed and their route running savvy. Fresh set of downs here. From the gun, it's McCown. It's gonna be caught. Oh, he got a touchdown. That was a nice touchdown. Touchdown, Jets. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target. So, as you see, I'm to. trying to change Each the camera angle, and, and it just won't let you do it. I don't understand why here. Dot, we almost blocked that. I think if I was a little bit faster, that we could have had that pump block. Our field goal block. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it ends with a jet touchdown. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kicks away. This is taken just shy of the ten here. Oh, good move. Oh, if I could block those both tackles, we would have touchdown. All right, as it said, two runs. So that's basically what we're going to do. Here, so and a touchdown given up the last time they were out there, so maybe need to refocus a little bit. And make sure that they don't start finger pointing with each other, because oftentimes when a touchdown's given up, you say, okay, what did that was happen? Not, who broke down, who long. gave it up? Instead, try just again. go back out there, be a unit again, and try and play a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see if they can play a little bit better on this drive. A handoff as they run the counterplay. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. So that one will get him halfway to the first down marker. Seven yards makes it third and seven now. We will go on on fourth if we absolutely have to. But I, I don't think we have to. No, we will not. We have it. Okay. We're going to rush it up the middle. Or really the side is not really the middle here. Gonna give this time to the tailback. There we go, the 10 yards. Are we just gonna keep doing no huddle? A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the keep the defense off balance here. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. Oh, we spun the wrong way. Since I was holding it straight, it decided to spin us to the left. Okay. That's okay. We did get the first down on that. without his performance on the ground. That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They run the counter now on first down. There we go. We got some yards off that juke. Two minute warning. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights. And there we go. Oh, we got open. Down. Nice. No huddle at the three yard line. I want to see you. I want to see if we can get to the two here. If we can get the, to the two of the one off a of run play, that would be really, really nice. But they did blitz, so I'm going to do a toss to the outside, probably right side, get them off balance. Be, they should be expecting a run great. Well, with the kind of half he's had, um, I think we can draw. forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build. All right, there we go. So right now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six defenders on there. And all of our blocks should be here. Which we're not there. I might have to pass it in for the touchdown. I'm going to see if we can run it. We got this. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. 
Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves yeah. to them as well. That was the hardest part when you're in that area is to run the ball. Defensively, defensive timeout called by the Jets. Or go for it. It's just their first. We're gonna play the risk. Two remaining here before we get to halftime. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. Instead, they're gonna go for it on fourth and goal. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. Touchdown. touchdown. He got the touchdown. It's the fullback from six yards away. And the Lions have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now. See on the sideline. Going for the PAT. Scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. I think I missed. What? Yes, we made it. It's now a 14 7. That was clear in the red. I don't know how it made it, but it made it. So basically, what the Jets is going to look for here is either a run back, a kick return, run it back to the touchdown, or they're going to be passing it a lot because they want a touchdown tie us up before half. So we gotta stop that touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the twenty-five. Couple extra yards up to the twenty. Like I said before, guys, you always want to have a kicker, so they're not getting that big run back anytime. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing your back. That should be the number one person you always get on a team as a kicker. Jump starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down, they're trying to get back into the game. But you gotta figure if something goes wrong, you may have put all right. They got on one spot. timeout left. That's all we gotta stop them for. It's one more, one more timeout. I don't think we're gonna stop them on this first down. McCown throwing on second. Now he'll go deep down the middle. Well, this is taken. Oh, oh, complete. oh. Got him. And he's going to be marked down deep Ooh. in Detroit. He's going to call a timeout. I guess he's going to go right for the field goal. So we're going to see if we can block it here. We can do it. With 16 seconds to go in half number one. Oh, that was so close. Did he, he made it. Kick is right I was an inch away. Back down to four now at 14-10. So a field goal here, they're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good, because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second I'm going to let this touch to back, back and touch now. To be, and that's in the lead. Oh, it's too good of a kick. And I got hit. That's okay. Deep as they'll have to start the drive from the six-yard line. Let's see. Let's just go forward all here. I do have a good wide receiver. Just throw it deep and wish for a miracle. Try to go 21 here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dancing to his left. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. There we go. We run it off our quarterback. Okay. We have hit halftime. Still two more. To go, we'll take a timeout. We'll be back. All right, I'm asking a fast forward to this guy. It's late there in Orlando. This is a but now we are kicking it off here. Right back to the action here in the third quarter. So now they're marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. There, as he gets this one up just shy of the 35 yard line at the 34. At least it's only the 34. Not too bad. The Jets offense now up. works their way back onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, you know? I would agree with that, Taylor. Oh, I, I went offside. Cleaning up some of the Got issue. But overall, I think they were going to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. I thought it was going to stop me. We need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Let's go. Three, 19. Following the 
penalty. It's Forte. And he'll take this up over All right, the 40 there we go. about the 41. Second. It's a gain of three, second. and it sets him up with second and just two yards to go. Not a whole Actually, lot there after the penalty, here. but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. They stay on the ground, Forte again. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Third and inches. Two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. The thing we want to do, guys, is let this clock just like kill. Just we want to get it out of the third quarter into the fourth and about a minute and 30 left so we can score a touchdown. That is our goal. You got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yeah, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. On second down, Forte. I saw the wrong coming. Further, just a yard there. All right, third and eight. So we're gonna go soon. Keep that middle covered. I swear, we just like throw it and see if I can get the sack on the play. That's different. It's a gain of twenty and picking up the first. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. It's definitely going to be yes, fourth quarter by the time we get like the ball back. Receiver, they have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their I definitely want to stop them on fourth down. I don't want them to get a touchdown. I just want to get a field goal. So he's going to stop the touchdown happening, and that would be awesome. I do have a 74 overall team. I think the challenge in this is either as 60. 65, the ahead of the 70. back to the ground attack here. It's Forte. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Back to the ground on first, it's Forte. And they'll get to I thought it was Thumble there, how they moved the camera. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. I think we're going to change it from zone. I think I'm doing it. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Blitz. Second down following the run. Forte gets the handoff from McHale. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's able Ooh. to work it here to the eight-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. So many teams want to throw What's the ball in this situation nowadays, but I well, it's one like I said, has enough confidence to go ahead and run I guess the football it in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. The offense operating inside the 10 at the eight here. It's first nice. and goal, and a little bit of space. I can't end three. Five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. Time for a break. Okay, it is two minute warning. As I said, we do want to stop them hardcore here. We can't stop them. We can get a touchdown decently quick. We do have three timeouts. They got three timeouts. There we go. We took them back two yards. That's what we needed. Ah, oh, a solid coming. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. 
They are gonna go for it. Oh, he didn't catch it. I thought he caught it. From finishing it off, they rocked him a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. They'll look to throw interception. That's it. That's all she wrote. And we're gonna run it all the way back. Go, go, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown. That's all she wrote. Yes. So they go for it on fourth and goal, hoping to get six, and it's six the other way. If hindsight is 20 20, they would have gone ahead and kicked the field goal, but by being aggressive, it yes. cost them. Give up six points going the other way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the six. <laughs> And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early. To let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. Nowhere to fumble. He lost the football. And this is we got the football back off a of thumble. Inside the red zone with a ball at the 16 yard line. These last two minutes are ours. So we are going to make sure we are challenged down here. Another way to check is to pause the game, go to challenge goals. We're going to see. I'll usually light up green so we don't have it yet. There's two ways to get this done easy. You can either, definitely if you don't know how many yards you have, not catching up, you can just run a play and see. Make sure you hit get plus yards. And just dive here for the extra yards. All right, we need two yards. We, or one yard. We got five yards to go. Now, let's say you needed 10 yards. You can always, if you know you're gonna beat your opponent anyway, you can run back. So how many yards you need? So run in the backfield, go out of bounds, then run forward. Get how many ever yards you needed. That complete the goal. We just got a thousand gold, guaranteed. Officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Okay, it wants me to score the touchdown. It's gonna go ahead and go special teams, and we're just gonna kneel it. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. I'm going to do the same thing. Even though it's fourth down, I'm going to do the same thing. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. It's all the way down at the bottom. So we're just going to wait for it to go down. Then not, they shouldn't have enough time to get their team back out here. Even if they do score, it's not going to matter. The only thing that's going to happen, they're going to do a Hail Mary. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was Hopefully we can get a safety here. Fires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side, oh, they actually do have a decent amount of time left. Stop. I'm surprised. It's a big momentum play. 23 yards on the play. And now he 
stops it with a spike at eight seconds. And on second and ten now. All right, we know they're going Hail Mary all the way. Not gonna happen. With a clock showing just three seconds left. Quincy, this will be the last play of the game. And now it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass and nowhere to go. Here he lost the football. And we fumbled it. We got, we almost got the tumble recovery. That would have been awesome. Congratulations, good job on this madness. All right, that is the Lions challenge. I will show you guys how to access these from the main menu, or the ultimate team menu, I should say. As you see, we got 100 gold, 2,000 gold. And a character. Nice. Alright. Alright, so when you guys get here, you're going to see store, team, play, and live. You want to go to solo challenges. You want to click here. 20 days of goals. Right there. I will be uploading a video every one of these 20 days. And there is two challenges today. There is the Lions and the 49ers. The Lions is going to be part one. This will be part one. Like the video. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.